good morning students good morning to all of you today we are going to discuss a questions uh, let us see a question does irregular reflection mean, means uh, the failure of law of reflection okay this question question asking about does irregular reflection means the failure of law of reflection uh, first of all we have to know about the regular reflection and irregular reflection let us see here regular reflection okay what is regular reflection let us see here suppose this one a plain mirror this one very smooth mirror it is a plain mirror having irregularity here irregularity is almost equal to zero means if some parallel light ray is coming to incident on the plane meter then after reflection it becomes also parallel to each other here the regular reflection is taking place regular reflection this one an example of regular reflection again uh, in irregular reflection in irregular reflection what happens in the irregular reflection the surface is not smooth in irregular reflection here we see the surface is not smooth if some parallel light ray is coming to incident on that surface after reflection what happens after reflection it does not go parallel to each other it goes does not go parallel to each other after reflection here you see there are so many parallel light ray is coming to incident on that surface but after reflection it does not go parallel to each other here their irregular reflection takes place in this question question asking about does irregular reflection means the failure of law of reflection so uh, there is a law that is law of reflection let us see here the law of reflection what is law of reflection uh, in law of reflection when incident ray fall on the surface of an a mirror or any object then the first law tells that this one normal the first law tells that angle i equal to angle r this one the incident angle the angle i means this one incident angle this one incident angle okay this one incident angle and this one a reflected angle okay a reflected angle this one incident ray this ray is called incident ray and this ray is called reflected ray okay a reflected ray so we see here that the incident in first uh, law of reflection there are two law the first law is that angle i equal to angle r means the incident angle equal to angle uh, reflected angle and the second law is that incident ray incident ray reflected ray reflected reflected ray and normal normal is a line an imaginary line which uh, which is taking on the incident point perpendicular to the surface of an object this one the normal line incident ray reflected ray and normal lie on lie on same plane same plane this one gives the law of reflection in this question question asking about does irregular reflection means the failure of law of reflection is here the law of reflection fails due to which their uh, uh, their irregular reflection is takes place no here there is no any law of reflection is failure because you will see uh, if you asking about this surface let us see here if you asking about this surface this on the curved surface and uh, in this curved surface an incident ray is incident on that p point suppose this on p point then you take a tangent on that surface you know the tangent and radius are perpendicular to each other okay you take a tangent on that surface you take a tangent on that surface and uh, you take on that tangent this on the plane surface the tangent is a plane surface on that tangent you take a normal which is perpendicular to the 
uh, tangent you see that uh, here this one gives the normal line and you see this one angle i and uh, this one angle r okay then we can see that uh, angle i equal to angle r here okay so we can say that uh, here we can say that uh, there is no any failure of law of reflection law of reflection on diffuse reflection this one diffuse reflection also on diffuse reflection diffuse reflection or irregular reflection both are same i think uh, you are able to follow me thank you thank you very much